Welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to Jaguar Health's a channel committed to discovering, developing, and commercializing plant-based prescription medicine for urgent global health needs. We always have the pleasure to be joined by Lisa, the Chief Executive Officer. Welcome back, all the way from Italy. Thank you. Yeah, I'm thrilled to be here anytime, wherever I am. I'm glad that you can get on because we've spent a little bit. We've got a few updates coming out with some prevalent uh, news, including that Jaguar enters an exclusive uh, Crofelmer license and commercialization agreement with Sinworld Technologies for the uh, Canalivia, Canel if I'm saying that correctly, uh, for the treatment of diarrhea in dogs in China. Tell us what this means for Jaguar. Oh, this is this is a wonderful deal, and it's wonderful for the the dogs of the world, and in particular the dogs in China. So, first of all, Sinworld is a really a cutting edge technology company that is opening up the largest market in the world, the Chinese marketplace, to companies that want to bring their products to bring them internationally. So they have great digital capabilities, online capabilities. They work with some of the largest companies in, in the world, like Alibaba. And when we combine that with the animal market and the growing companion animal market in China, it exceeds the United States. It's expected to continue to exceed the United States ownership by 44%. And we're talking about the same post-pandemic um, dynamics that led to dog ownership combined with the decreasing birth rate in China and the increase of dog ownership and cat ownership, sort of the replacement for the family, the family values um, and the family unit. Um, the market has been growing tremendously. It's about a $70 billion market. 30 billion of that is for companion animals. So this is a really important opportunity to be Canalivia, the relief, the comfort to the animal and the whole family dynamic in treating diarrhea with a target in China of having ultimately a general diarrhea approval for the product. Yeah, this is a uh, pretty insightful and incredible as we've kind of moved into the second half of the year. I feel like your uh, company is starting to expand uh, at a global level, uh, which I think is uh, very prevalent for anyone listening. But can you offer any other guidance or things that investors, the retail audience should be paying attention to in the second half of this year? We do have global unencumbered rights to all our technology and have done deals in different geographies from those rights that we hold. And you never know when we're going to drop in one of those business development deals. So, of course, in February of this year, we did the license and distribution deal for Profelomer in the Mideast. And so I think you can expect to see some more of that. And then the key thing is about a year from now, the completion of the enrollment of our phase three clinical trial for our human mitesi product for cancer therapy related diarrhea and proof of concept, hopefully supporting early patient access revenue generation in Europe for the orphan population of short bowel syndrome. Uh, this sounds pretty uh, incredible. Some catalysts to look forward to, and there's just a lot going on that I look forward to seeing some updates on. So I'm going to pass the question off to the viewers. We'd love to know what you guys think about all of this in that comment section below. Of course, consider subscribing because as more news comes down the wire, we'll of course update you here. But on that note, stay cool, stay awesome. And as always, I look forward to catching you in the next one.